Hello and welcome back with an RSPS video and today we are back on my skip RSPS and today boys we are going to be recording a very unique video we're going to be showcasing for the first time the beautiful raid 3 as you probably saw from the title and the thumbnail this is the hardest content piece in the game which gives the best items in the game the horror pieces which I'm wearing as well and are super fucking OP 1.6 million in stats absolutely crazy and you might be asking what is that beautiful aura this man is wearing? Well, that's a Team Walk Escape that you guys can grab yourself. When logging in on MyScape, type column com team walk into the chat and you guys will be getting a huge starter pack plus this aura. This aura gives 100% drop rate. It's absolutely OP. So we are in the lovely lobby of Raid 3. The horror rate right here that will give us the best in slot items. The set we're wearing right here and it looks absolutely beautiful. Apparently we have 5 lives in total. For each life we lose, we lose one key. In total, it's going to be five that we can obtain, so five keys. And uh, yeah, also have a guy in the chat right here saying, the way it works, we have a sort of like immunity fax. Uh, the NPCs, which we have to kill, and uh, they sort of like dodge it. Like if we hit magic on the magic shield, we're going to reflect damage. So like a, a taste vengeance sort of. We don't want that to happen. And um, yeah, there's also a bunch of bolts we have to dodge. And then I have another guy here, Mr. Connor. Shout out to him. He told me I'm going to die within the first 10 seconds. Let's find out. Here we go, boys. We are in the fucking raid, and I have no fucking idea what we have to do. So this guy seems to be attacking me with a melee here. Okay. Okay, I'm already... Oh, my God. I'm, I'm already... I don't know what we have to protect, dude. I'm already about to fucking die, dude. Oh, my shit. Is this hard? All right, guys. So I've actually started to go do a little uh, voiceover here on the clips, because I was panicking way too much when I was doing this raid, and I couldn't properly explain how this works. So the one thing you might ask me is, like, what is the taste vengeance? It's not actually a taste vengeance. As you can see right now, there's sort of, like, bear around him. Tormented demons actually have this effect. Which is sort of like a protection thing, and you don't want to attack them because whatever you do damage in it will reflect the big fucking damage on you. And I've actually died twice or three times actually in this clip right here by just killing myself. So whenever you see this thing around him, you don't want to go and attack him. Right now is a good time to attack him because he's not having any minions or the uh, fucking barrier. So whenever you see the barrier around him, don't attack him. You see the DPS is insane. Also, what you want to do is always dodge these bolts coming from the. That, that ball exactly right there. So this dot ball is going to do a lot of roughly 600, 700 damage. So you don't want to take that damage, honestly. And you always want to go and take attack the minions as well. Sometimes it gets a bit misleading because it says the pyramid hat can only be damaged by the magic attacks. It is literally just only magic attacks. Don't get confused that you need to switch any attack styles whatsoever. Just go ahead and kill it with magic all the time. I've tested it with melee as well, but it's not really effective whatsoever. So just go with magic. A run around a lot is a lot of like running around um, raid. It's super mechanical. It's very nice actually. And again, whenever you see this thing around him, don't fucking attack him. And um, yeah, you can do this also with other friends, obviously. Since MyScape got re-released roughly a month ago, a lot of people don't have the requirements yet. To be exact, only two people in the game got the freaking uh, raid requirements, which is a thousand Dragon Balls at raid. That's pretty impressive, actually. I had it grinded on the old MyScape on the Armin account, but um, yeah, again, you guys will have to grind quite a bit in order to be able to do this raid. I hope you enjoyed anyway. The mechanic is super, super amazing. As you can see, I got 700 fucking 60 damage right there. You don't want that to happen, so make sure to dodge them, and I'll probably see you speed up everything a little bit here, and I'll see you with the loot. Let's go. kill him all right 40 hp left come on 40 million left can we kill him before we actually die go 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 and yes we have completed the horror rate let's go bro that probably took me like i don't know 10 minutes sorry i got two keys which means i've played three times in total and uh, yeah that's very impressive actually let's go ahead and open the chest and see what we're going to be getting 225k and another one okay we'll take that all the rules in between let's go ahead and kill one of the owner boxes uh owner bosses apparently they changed the drop table they did you get owner cape goodie box right now that is so cool so if you guys kill 28 you have a good chance to actually get a fucking owner cape and that was pretty damn close and if you fail you get an owner box so that's super cool actually i love that and owner boss is one of my favorite content pieces on my skip and uh, yeah oh i just got 10 dollar bond let's go that's fucking lit so, we should complete another raid. I think that was literally just with, uh, right, I didn't get, <laughs> okay. We're just playing too much. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you get the idea of the raid. Probably takes around, I don't know. Let's say, I don't know. How long does this raid take? I would say roughly 5-10 minutes. Depends on how good you are, but my is not too good, dude. 
But okay, anyway, we gotta open 250 horror keys right here and see what the loot is before I actually go out and open all of them. I will go ahead and bank all my stuff. And then we get a clear option uh, on what we actually get here. So, good luck to the boys. We're gonna go out and open these lovely keys. In three minutes, apparently, we're gonna be teleporting away. I don't want that to happen. So, we shall go ahead and, uh, yeah, open them quickly. Ooh! What the fuck, dude? I got Freddy's lags. Oh, my fuck. Okay, we have to check out the drop tables first. Things first. So, here's the drop tables. Uh, that way you can see for the lovely horror raids. So, the best pieces are obviously the horror pieces. One in 12,000. That is insane, boys. The item we just got was uh, Freddy's legs, so that shit goes for, no, there's Jason legs, that's Freddy's legs. One in a hundred, okay, not too bad, actually. These items are much easier to get, as we can see, there's also some dolls we can obtain, and there is also these caskets, which I just got, a diamond casket, one in 75, not too bad, honestly. Bond casket as well included, and then we go into the juicy horror pieces, and we gotta open 250 of these, and let's see what we're gonna be getting. I'll see you at 200. Oh my goodness, the next item coming in here, what the fuck, dude? That is Myers Sword. Okay. Very, very nice. Oh my god. The next one. Myers Boots. What's my RNG, people, dude? That's one in a hundred right here. And we absolutely balling. All right. I'm not cheating, dude. But I got four fucking Myers Gloves. Uh, sorry. Freddy's and Myers Gloves. Jason Boots. And Maya Boots as well. 200 to go. That's absolutely crazy. I'm not sure if I'm super lucky. Or what's going on. But uh, yeah, that's all the unique ones we got already. Holy fucking moly, dude. So, 150, uh, sorry, 150, 100 open. We got Myers Helmet. We got a bottom casket. Freddy's piece is right there. Freddy's claws as well. Fortunately, no horror piece yet. Let's go for the next 50. And look at this beautiful walkie gang right here. I love to see that, dude. The amount of people still having these capes on, running around the homer. I fucking love it. Huge shout out to every single one of them, dude. Absolutely fucking mad. So, we just got a full inventory find right here. 109 left to guy. We got the Freddy's body. I feel like we have a full set. We're going to do a little uh, fashion show after the beautiful uh, completion, opening completion right here. So I'm gonna go out and bank all of these fuckers and then we'll go right back into the next opening. So, uh, we just opened too many, dude. I want to get the next one at 100, but whatever. So, we got a lot more caskets here. We got some Mars pieces. Freddy body as well coming in. I'll see you at 50. There we go. Mars legs, Mars boots, Jason gloves, Jason body, Mars, Freddy's. Lots of fucking pieces. I don't know how this is one in a hundred. There's no fucking way, but maybe I'm actually super lucky. And um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Hey, we actually got the fucking doll, dude. Okay, I like that one. Look at this little doll you guys can get here. Looks fucking cute. You got 25 to go. Let's go to all of them at the once. And boom! Chaka laka boom! What do we got here? Freddy's, 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 Meyer. Okay. We didn't get a single horror piece. I'm pretty sad, actually, if you ask me, but it is okay. Time for a little fashion show. Oh, we got the first set right here. That is the beautiful Meyer set. Look at that one. Holy freaking moly. Let's go ahead and have a look into these stats. What you guys can expect from that one. 15,000 in total, plus 15,000 strength. So, this is beautiful set. Right here. So this is Freddy's right here. The sign, unfortunately, I don't have the hat. So that's pretty sad, actually, if you ask me. But we can actually check out the hat over here in the in the beautiful drop table. So if you go here, Halloween chance, and then we can go here for the Freddy's helmet. Look at that one. Pretty nice as well. And it gives 2,500 as well in stats. And as we can see, full set would give 10k. So we also got Jason. Same uh, scenario right here. We don't have the helmet. Looks pretty fucking cool as well, this set. But the helmet makes pretty much everything. And, uh, yeah, Jason looks freaking sick as well. I'll show you the hat as well so you guys get an uh, idea what that one looks like. Ooh, look at that one. Also, same stats, all these stats, by the way. The doll gives 2.5k. And, um, yeah, pretty fucking amazing items. Unfortunately, we did not manage to get any of these ones right here, horror pieces. We did get a lot of uh, chest light and cash wise. We also got 32 million from 250 openings not too bad and yeah boys that is the showcase of the raid as well as a little opening i hope you guys enjoyed it as you see these horror raids information will always come to the chat in two minutes bring mage gear to the horror raids and then if you guys have the requirements then you guys will be able to teleport through them by just clicking on the teleports go to the horror raids and uh, yeah maybe you're lucky pull some horror raid, right like the harpies are insanely op like best in fucking slot so that's super OP. And by the way, it's not 1 in 100. I think they decreased to 1 to 10. So that's why we got so many of the other pieces. And that's why they're not that OP anymore. But um, yeah, that is what you want to grind. Raids 2,000 times as bad boy. It's also super OP to farm these because you actually get an achievement for that. 
which is a hot one, which is complete 1,000 Dragon Ball raids, as you can see right here, and you're gonna get all these juicy loots right here, I've grinded this one on my arm, and I got back then, and it was super fucking worth it, so, if you guys wanna grind something on MyScape during your times, then definitely go ahead and do Dragon Ball Z Raid. That's it for now. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to sign up for the giveaway, guys. Make sure to smash the like button, comment your in-game names down below, and be subscribed to my channel. I'll launch Cash Kit I2, one lucky winner. This is $75 worth right here. Thanks so much for tuning in. I love you all. Have a good one, and peace out.